My name is Helen Ruth Aspis. I am the owner of the Aspis Ranch located in southwest La Plata County. Today was a momentous day for this ranch because it was placed on the historic register for La Plata County. And one of the rationales, the main rationale for doing so was because there are uh, historic artifacts throughout this ranch that date back to prehistoric times and come up to the 21st century. The house, we are standing in the house that uh, was moved here from the old fort. It was officers' quarters and in the late 19th century when the Indian school had too many structures to maintain, the house was sold and my great-grandmother purchased this house Obviously, it must have been moved here on with logs brought by a team of horses. Um, my great-grandfather was civil employee at the fort, and after his untimely death uh, uh, due to a fall from a, from a wagon, my great-grandmother uh, lived here, raised her four children. They went on to um, live in the county and to live in other parts of the country. After she passed away in... 1920, the house uh, was then occupied by my grandparents. My father finished his youth and adulthood here. And then after World War II, my parents got married and settled here. And so I have grown up in this house. The original structure, as I mentioned before, was officers' quarters uh, with two bedrooms on the first floor, three bedrooms on the upper floor. And uh, it has uh, the integrity of the original structure has been maintained to date. Growing up here was the best childhood anyone could ever have. In the summers, my older brother, my younger sister, and I spent every waking moment outside. So we had different forts and hideouts and imaginary places strung up and down the river. So we, we spent all our time outside. In fact, we slept outside all summer. We'd sleep in tents, we'd sleep in the barn, we'd sleep in the barn loft. And uh, finally in the late in the late 1960s, our dad decided maybe two teenage daughters just sleeping out down at the river was probably not the best thing, so he built the little cabin east of the house. And it's still intact, and one of these days I'm going to move it up here and have it closer to the, closer to the house. So a childhood here was absolutely wonderful. Our mother said she never worried about us at all. She knew we were down at the river, and we were always safe. We were always just enjoying life. And that's probably, that was probably the major factor for me wanting to put the ranch in a, to a conservation easement because I wanted to protect this natural landscape and the, the wildlife that we had become so attached to.